Hello everyone, I am Lady Silver Sage of A Witch's Life, and I thank you for being here today. For those of you who have subscribed already, thank you very, very much. And for those of you who have not, please go ahead and do that. It sure would make me a happy witch. So now let's get on with everything. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have painted the door to the Enchanted Ivy Cottage. Hmm. Purple, you might be asking yourself why I would desire something as peculiar or unusual as this. And my answer is really quite simple. It means that a witch lives and or dwells here. There are a lot of people who haven't even heard of this. However, I can assure you that it's real, as I've done my homework. <laughs> From what I have found, it all started less than a decade ago in the internet. And since then, it's gaining strength, meaning, and momentum within the witchy communities. Now, there are so many shades of this magical color, purple, and almost all of them are truly pleasing to the eye. And I believe that in the near future, witches will identify each other more and more with it. So if you see witches, or I should say, if you see people who are walking around in lots of different shades of purple, or have lots of maybe purple accessories, you might be looking at a witch. Now, this color is said to be quite alluring, mystical, secretive, rich, magical, royal, and it exudes power and self-confidence. Now, personally, when I think of this luscious color, words such as mm, enlightenment, balance, spirituality, healing, strength, free thinking, sex, and the power of a witch automatically come to mind. What comes to mind when you think about this beautiful color? Let me know down below in the comments. That would be interesting to know. The color purple seems to stand mostly alone when it comes to painting large, readily viewable surfaces with this color. And for me, that means that you truly must believe in yourself and your ability to stand in your own power when you so broadly use such a color. And I as well as many of you have been working on this potential. Have you ever noticed that before the 19th century, there were no flags that had the color purple in it, and most clothing that had purple was worn mainly, mainly by royalty and the upper classes. That's because making this elegant color was quite tedious, torturous, ooh, that's hard to say, torturous uh, for the shellfish, and very difficult to make. But thankfully, this beloved color is now available to the masses. <laughs> so, let me know, do you think that you're going to be painting your front door purple anytime soon? Or maybe the door to your shed or your bedroom? I'd like to know about this, because I have found quite a few people who have painted their doors purple. And yes, they are witches. That's what I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed this little fun short video. And I am sending you the brightest of magical blessings. You guys take care of yourself and stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now. See you next time.